Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Master channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about a new announcement that Binance made recently about listing the Vulcan Forged PYR token or the PYR token, right? Again, the announcement reads as follows. Binance will list Vulcan Forged PYR and will open trading for PYR BTC. PYR BUSD and PYR USDT trading pairs at 26th of November which is today 8 a.m. UTC so what is Vulcan Forged PYR Vulcan Forged is a game studio dedicated to NFT games built on Ethereum and Polygon amongst its series of games on the platform Vulcanverse and B- Berserk are the two main games of the project PYR is its native utility token which allows users to purchase NFTs from the in-game marketplace, participate in staking and pay for scholar registration fees. So again, right off the bat this is a game platform or gaming platform uh, which mainly focuses on uh, you know building NFT uh, based games on top of the Ethereum and Polygon blockchain. and it's also a uh, platform that has uh, a series of games built into it which uh, include Vulcanverse and Berserk and these are some of the two main games of the project right so uh, when it comes to the token itself PYR is basically the native utility token that uh, allows for users to purchase any form of NFTs uh, within the in-game marketplace as well as allow for users to participate in staking and pay for scholar registration fee which is a type of fee that uh, you know in game players need to pay for uh, and this is all done through the PYR token right so this is basically the quick overview of the Vulcan forged PYR token so let's go to Binance research page not to learn more about this project right so uh, when you go to Binance research and search for PYR you can basically access the Vulcan forged Uh, token so what is vulcan forged it's basically a game studio on ethereum uh, polygon and binance smart chain again when it comes to the announcement itself they didn't mention about binance smart chain but uh, it's good that they mentioned that on the uh, kind of like uh, you know binance research page for this token right so this project is currently existing in three different blockchains so again vulcan forged is a game studio dedicated to nft games built on Ethereum Polygon and recently expanded to Binance Smart Chain amongst its series of games on the platform Vulcanverse and Berserk are the two main games of the project PYR is the native utility token which allows for users to purchase NFTs from the in-game marketplace participate in staking and pay for scholar registration fees so again this is the information that we already covered before so let's skip on to the token itself so PYR is a native utility token of the Vulcan forged ecosystem and has the following use cases again uh, there are multiple use cases for this token which we already briefly touched upon but let's look into some of the details of the utility of this token right so the first main utility of this token is to allow for buying and selling of NFTs users can buy and sell NFTs and in-game items using PYR in the Vulcan forged marketplace so again just like any gaming platform uh Vulcan Forged also has its own native marketplace called uh you know the Vulcan Forged marketplace which is basically the place where uh users can buy and sell NFTs and trade NFTs as well and this is all done using the PYR token right so that's one of the main use cases of this token the second main use case is staking users can stake PYR to upgrade their in-game land NFTs which will increase the yield of staking rewards paid in lava tokens so again um when it comes to staking um obviously just like any other gaming platform as well you can basically use the token to stake on the platform but when you stake on their platform you basically uh, you know you can get to upgrade your in-game nfts so in-game lan nfts to be specific so there are lans in this uh, you know blockchain in this kind of project and uh, you know you can basically stake pyr tokens to upgrade your lan nfts which is a pretty cool and kind of like a unique feature and this will increase the yield of staking rewards so not only will this upgrade your lan nfts but it will also 
provide you increased staking rewards which is not paid out in the PYR tokens. It's actually paid out in a different token called the LAVA token. So this is um, the most crucial difference when it comes to this project as well as uh, uh, any other kind of gaming blockchain project uh, where you basically stake and get the same tokens as rewards uh, in other projects, but in this project you stake it to uh, upgrade your land NFTs and also uh, increase the yield of staking rewards, which is basically paid out in LAVA tokens, right? So that's basically how uh, it works. Liquidity mining users can contribute to the liquidity pools on the Vulcan DEX to earn liquidity rewards and a share of the DEX transaction fees. So again, when it comes to um, liquidity, just like any platform, you can provide liquidity on their native DEX called the Vulcan DEX, which you can use, uh, you, you can provide liquidity to, to earn liquidity provision fees and also, um, you know, any form of uh, tr transaction fees on the DEX itself, along with, uh, you know, you can earn rewards for providing liquidity in the form of either the LAVA tokens or the PYR tokens, right? So that's another feature which is available in this uh, platform so the the fourth most important like uh, you know feature for or a utility for this token is basically scholar registration fee so in order for users to rent nfts as a scholar you are required to use pyr to pay for the scholar registration fee so again this is a very uh, you know unique uh, kind of like a feature that's available uh, for PYR token holders that you can't find in pretty much any of the other platforms. So when you um, own an NFT, you can actually rent it out, right? You can rent out your NFTs to other players. And that's kind of like a popular theme that's happening for many projects these days. And when you rent out your NFTs, you are basically required to pay a fee for renting it out. And this fee is usually paid out in the PYR tokens, right? And this is called the scholar registration fee. So you need to register yourself as a scholar and scholars are basically people who are allowed to rent their NFTs, right? So this is basically the four main use cases of the token itself. So Vulcan Forge consists of uh, the following major components working in conjunctions. So again, just like any other project, Vulcan Forge also has multiple different components uh, working in conjunction to make the platform function effectively. And some of the uh, components include LAVA tokens. It is the secondary token within the Vulcan Forged ecosystem and has the following use cases. So again, um, one of the main component is the LAVA token itself. So the LAVA tokens are additional tokens which are present in the Vulcan Forged uh, ecosystem and they have their own use cases, right? So uh, one of the main use cases is play to earn. Users earn LAVA by staking PYR and playing Vulcan Forged games. So again, this is something that we already know. So if you stake your PYR tokens, you can earn, uh, you know, rewards in the form of LAVA tokens, which is something that you will have to play to earn. So it's like a PTE system, right? And then in-game currency users will need LAVA to pay for in-game transactions, which includes upgrading NFTs, building on land plots and several other benefits as well. So again, when it comes to in-game currency, it's not the PYR token that acts as in-game currency, it's the LAVA token. So therefore you need LAVA tokens in order to uh, kind of like upgrade your NFTs, building or uh, building plots on building on uh, plot lands or land plots. So uh, these are some of the main functionalities for the Lava tokens itself, right? So the second main component is uh, Vulcan Dex. Users can provide liquidity stake and swap Lava tokens for PYR through the platform's Dex. So again, if you are interested in uh, performing swaps or if you let's say you've earned lava tokens and you want to swap it to PYR tokens you can do all of that in the Vulcan Dex which is also where you can provide liquidity and stake your liquidity to earn liquidity incentives right the third main component is Vulcan market users can buy and sell NFTs on the Vulcan forged marketplace so again this is something that we already covered before but the marketplace is basically the place where you can uh, you know kind of like uh, buy and sell NFTs uh, and you can kind of rent out your NFTs as a scholar as well, right? In-game NFTs within the Vulcan Forged ecosystem, there are several types of NFTs uh, which include lands, um, Vulcanites, seeds, gods, etc. So obviously, uh, it's an NFT game platform, so you are expect 
expected to see NFTs being a major component of this game and that's exactly what we're seeing right now. And there are several types of NFTs which includes lands, uh, you know, Vulcanites, seeds, gods, etc. And so many NFTs uh, that you can play and earn and you can also trade on their marketplace, right? So this is pretty much the quick overview of this project itself. As of November 26, 2021, the total and maximum supply of EYR is 50 million tokens. Again, uh, the total supply and the maximum supply are pretty much the same thing. And it seems like there's 50 million tokens uh, that are available in this, uh, in, you know, in the form of PYR tokens or PYR tokens. And this is a pretty good number because a lot of projects have more than 100 million tokens, which is not necessarily ideal if you're trying to build scarcity into the ecosystem, right? So PYR is definitely a scarce token. And the circulating supply or the current circulating supply is 18.9 million tokens. So again, um, which is about 38% uh, of the total token supply, which is a pretty good number if you ask me. And since scarcity is pretty much built into the system, I'm really liking this project because I feel like this project will definitely perform well because of its scarcity uh, feature alone, right? So that's a very pretty good uh, uh, kind of like tokenomics for that. Uh, learn more about the token distribution here. So if you want to learn more about how this token is distributed uh, amongst the team, advisors, and you know community, uh, and so on and so forth, you can basically click on the here button here and learn more about the token distribution right so now that we covered uh, all the kind of like peripheral information about uh, you know vulcan forged let's go to the website itself to see how it looks like so when it comes to vulcan forged you can go to the website vulcanforged.com in order to access the website and this is basically where you will be able to do your own in-depth research because you'll find a lot of information that will not only help you understand the project but also will provide you with uh, some form of uh, you know guidance on whether you would need to invest in this product or not right so right off the bat you can basically switch between light and dark mode so i like the dark mode so i'll keep it like that uh, if you scroll below you can basically uh, harness the power of vulcan which is basically the main core concept of this gameplay uh, play build collaborate earn and bring your ideas to life with the fastest growing blockchain game and dapp platform so again this game has a lot of potential to be uh, the next sandbox or the next Decentraland and I'm pretty sure that this project will definitely perform well compared to several other game projects, right? And they already have a very um, cool kind of like a video explanation uh, which you can uh, click and you know understand about this, about this project. So it's a good playable game where you can choose from different uh, Vulcan forged games itself. So the Vulcan verse is basically the main kind of like uh, gameplay verse. Uh, Berserk is basically the second game uh, that's available here. They also have Forge Arena as well as Vulcan Chess as well. So you pretty much have a lot of Vulcan based games, right? Product library, so you have the Vulcanverse, Berserk, Vulcan Chess, Forge Arena, Block Babies, Cardle Pets, Geocats, Agora, etc. So you have a, lo a lot of variety of games that you can use, you can usually access through their platform and if you see they have uh, you know an instant dapp and nft creation feature which will provide you to which will provide you access to creating your own nfts in the blockchain and this is called uh, anvil so this is basically where you mint new nfts right and they have their marketplace which we already saw right now and this is their layout of their marketplace my forge is basically uh, uh, known as the global vulcan forged account where you can log in and start accessing your games, right? So they have partnerships with uh, Weyval Technologies, Polygon, um, Artify, uh, you know, D511 and uh, Spark and they have partnerships with Venly, uh, you know, Blockchain Game Alliance. Uh, and I don't know what this project is all about, but they also partner with the, the Sandbox itself, uh, you know, and this S project and so on and so forth. So you can basically scroll through to see what other partnerships they have. So Vulcan Forge um, is basically the ecosystem, game gameplay ecosystem, uh, game studio and a marketplace for, um, you know, Vulcan based games as well as makers of Vulcan was powered by PYR is the, the PYR token is basically the token that's powering this entire ecosystem, right? And if you scroll below, you can see some of the other information about this product. And, uh, you know, you can follow uh, follow their community and be a part of their community as well, right? So overall, it's a pretty cool platform and uh, website where you can access several other high-quality games. But moving to, again, this is uh, the video 
So moving to their uh, the coin market cap page for this token, this token is currently ranked 229th by market cap and coin market cap and is currently trading at $40.50 at the time I'm making this video with a 31.98% increase in the past 24 hours. Again, the Binance listing announcement has definitely pumped the price of this token quite high and this is one of the worst times to buy this token, right? If it's if it's green, do not buy, right? So when it comes to market cap, this token already has a market cap of $769 million in market cap. Uh, it's a token that will definitely become a billion dollar market cap pretty, show, pretty soon and I think this token will definitely reach that stage by the end of this bull run, right? And when it comes to tokenomics, I already mentioned that this token has one of the coolest tokenomics for any play to earn kind of a platform. And I think this tokenomics will definitely drive the token price to the moon because of scarcity itself, right? So when it comes to the, the charts itself, obviously this token has, is, has been in its all time highs since the Binance announcement, but overall, this token price was worth 20, sorry, uh, $1.93 as of uh, 20th of April this year. It peaked to close to $2.93, close to $3 in fact. And then it kind of like uh, slowly started uh, going down from there, reaching an all-time low, so about $1.25, $1.20 uh, before trying to rally back. Gradually, along with uh, some volatility here and there, this token managed to reach uh, a significant uh, price point of about $40, which is currently its all-time highs right now. And there's no stopping this token because even uh, after the Binance listing, uh, there will be a little bit of pump uh, maybe after a day or two after the Binance listing as well. And then it's going to probably come down, uh, maybe retest the $30, uh, $30, $28 mark, which will be a good opportunity to get into this token, right? But since this is pumping like crazy, I would not recommend anyone to buy this token at this price point, right? When it comes to the Bitcoin compared to itself, the token is obviously doing an, an exact carbon replica of the dollar compared to price pattern itself. The initial token price was 3,500 Satoshis per token, but it reached an all-time lows of about, I think, um, maybe 3,700 Satoshis per token. But since then, it's been climbing steadily reaching new all-time highs pretty much on a regular basis and now it's currently trading at 7,500 satoshis per token so if you had invested 3,000-ish kind of like uh, uh, 3,700 or 3,100 kind of like uh, satoshis a few months back you would have gotten a lot of uh, gains for your bitcoin satoshis uh, as of today and the same thing goes for dollar competitive as well right so it seems like this token is at its all-time highs and it's the worst time to buy both in the bitcoin competitive as well as dollar competitive and I would suggest you to wait till this token reaches a price point of about $30 to $28 for the dollar comparative and for the Bitcoin comparative sometime uh, some uh, price point below the $2,500 to uh, 2300 Satoshis, right? Which will be a really good opportunity to enter in this token. So what's uh, the market issues guys? So market-wise market, market -wise, this token is obviously like available on Binance. It's also available on KuCoin and Gator.io, but I wouldn't really go below that because it's available on Binance itself, which is the largest, uh, which is one of the largest liquidity providers for this token. And also the, you can also get this token from the Uniswap version 2 on Ethereum and some other platform uh, like, uh, you know, um, Polygon or even Binance Smart Chain as well, right? So overall, you have a lot of liquidity in uh, pretty much all of these kind of exchanges both centralized and decentralized exchanges, right? So again, that's just my verdict. So what's my final verdict of this token? I think this token has a high potential to pump extremely hard in the upcoming months. And I believe that this token will definitely reach a price point of close to 50 to $55 per token by the end of this bull run. And then after that, I think this token can definitely go low. And that's basically when you need to buy this token, right? For the long-term price potential, I think this token is going to be probably worth $75 to $80 per token in the mid to long-term period. It's about three to uh, three to five months per, from now. And I think this token is definitely extremely new. This is one of the reasons why nobody is really uh, that keenly talking about this token. But I think this token will definitely make sure that, uh, you know, it, it definitely kind of like um, becomes one of the most leading blockchain game platforms in the crypto space right again that's just my verdict guys remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye